What's going on with Devontae Adams? I see this. Well, he was did an interview with where? Who was with it? The Ringer. Uh, yeah. Which is Bill, Bill Simmons' situation, right? Correct. The Ringer. Uh-huh. And Devontae is saying a lot. Evie, I don't know if we have some of that. We could pop up here on the screen, but the, I guess the headlines, we're trying to say Devontae. Let's see what's the, yeah, it's the a main Marin thing. Marin Fader, I believe, is how you pronounce it. Okay. And what was the main, the first headline said something, what, Devontae is not on board with the direction they're going offensively or something Doesn't like that? Doesn't see eye to eye with mm-hmm. uh, their vision for the offense. Which that much. would be Josh McDaniels, right? The it, head coach. Exactly, yeah. So Devontae clearly has some problems with uh, Josh McDaniels or, you know, pending problems. I think he has an idea of what maybe he sees with Jimmy Garoppolo and maybe what McDaniel sees with Jimmy Garoppolo. And it doesn't look good right now for the Raiders and Devontae. I guess so when Devontae here says we don't see eye to eye on what we think is best for us right now. Like, Pac, what what could that be? Because we're sitting here May 16th. They've been there for a month. basically. Mm-hmm. So, they've, so it's still early. Yeah, they've installed. I mean, there's no way they've installed the whole offense, but I guess it, did Devontae get back there and say, hey, I don't like this path. I like what we're doing with Jimmy G. Like, what could they be doing, you think, that's causing issues? Only thing I could think about, uh, he's, he's not getting the routes that he want to get. You yeah, know, not, when not guy go, go in and, and he's, they say he can't be productive with certain with certain quarterbacks, but he have been productive. Yeah, yeah. Um, only thing I could think of, you go to practice and – the route tree or the, the offense is not focused on the person that it need to be focused on, which it should be. Yeah, you're right. Actually. He's the best receiver. Yeah, he should the be the first option on every play. Should be probably. the fucking oh, yeah. first option every play. If he's not getting double, throw him the fucking ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so these quotes are, are interesting. I'm trying to figure out what exactly Devontae meant by some of this. It all depends on the style of ball yeah. that we play. With Jimmy Garoppolo starting at quarterback, if we play a certain brand of ball, I can get Jimmy to conform to whatever. But if we use him a certain type of way, then it's going to make it tough for us to maximize who we should be this year. What does that mean? So is that like methodical? Is that kind of like the McDaniels offense with Brady where it was just like first down, first down, first down, and then all of a sudden they're in the red zone and then they maybe take a shot? or like Because I, I, honestly, I don't know what it means, but just because of McDaniels being in New England for so long, that is kind of the offense he ran. Like it wasn't – as many deep balls, but we also never had a receiver like Devontae when McDaniels was calling plays. I was just going to say that when yeah. uh, McDaniel was there, it was more of a team offense. Yeah, exactly. And that could be what it is. You yeah. know, Devontae used to get in the ball. Mm-hmm. Um, he's still going to. Just, is he, does he feel like he's not going to get the targets that he deserves? Like, that's all, that's all it could be. Right? Or uh, if it's like, you know, looking how Jimmy G played when he was with the Niners and Devontae's like, hey, I don't want to just run slants and comebacks all yeah, fucking sure. game. You know, but. But I mean, I, I don't know. That's uh, it's also like the I can get him to conform to whatever. So it doesn't seem like he's really that. That's what I'm trying to he's figure not out. What fr- that really means? Like that, so he. Obvi- I think that means he can make him look good. With, with it, exactly. Whatever, he, whatever, however it's gonna go. What did he say to you at the Derby? Did he say, "Oh, I, I fucking can't do this"? <laughs> this stuff. is news Ooh. to me. This is news to me. That's so everything seemed great at was the Derby. Tom, <laughs> was there time was, going on? He was talking about every like the facilities are beautiful. He's got a nice spot they out are, there. He gets along right. with the coaches. Like they're at the top of that NFLPA list. I'm pretty sure. I think he he said the the facilities were legit like everything out there see they seem to be doing things the right way but right now this and what's weird is so Lombo Michael Lombardi his son is the offensive coordinator correct yes Correct. but mm. McDaniels calls the place I believe exactly. so it would you would assume Devontae's big issue is with the head coach yeah 100 percent. the guy who's the calling play, the place I mean, who's installing the offense I was kind of talking about the front office like was the front office was that the decision to get rid of Derek who is one of his best friends oh forever, you think it has something to do with that and who targeted him all the time, literally all the oh, time, and decided point. to go mm. with, without so, there. That, I didn't even, I, I didn't honestly didn't think about, about that until right now, yeah. but that's a good point. But he didn't put up a stink or say anything. If Devontae was going to say, like, obviously he's not scared to speak his mind. Right. Maybe he's, he's coming into his own or whatever, but he didn't say anything when they were getting rid of Derek. Yeah, and I think it has nothing to do with Jimmy G because Devontae, I mean, he had unbelievable games with Jared freaking Stidham. Like, it's yeah. not as yeah. if. He he had this massive Garrett, drop off when they Stutham went to the back. Throws a great deep. Evie, is Stutham there more? Is can you scroll to the bottom? The last page of that, if there, if you guys have it, I don't want to put you guys Hold out. But there's up. there's some quotes at the end too that were interesting to me. Yes. Yeah. Like so, what I was okay in 2022. Adams asked out of the only pro organization he been in. Okay, blah blah. I want to see where his quote. Right. Adams is learning a difficult lesson. Right there. One that can only yeah. be grasped with age. Patience, he said. Patience. Controlling what I can control. This is like the middle of the article. He's Let me reached, go down further. You can yeah, keep going a little Nick bit. screenshot in there. Yeah, you can keep going a little bit. But So patience is tough for him. So he's saying, like, hey, I want to win a Super Bowl right now, and he doesn't feel like they're on the path to do that? Is that what this is? Maybe, but... You know, are, Dang, this is a long article. Yeah. Is he also saying maybe he doesn't know what the to Tony's point about you know Derek Carr? Does he not see much of a difference between the two of them? Because it's not as if last year they had 
the success that he might have been looking for, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, Devontae still had a monster year, though, didn't he? Still had a yeah. monster year, yeah. But he might see the writing on the wall now, too, where it's like, you know, in, in Green Bay, like he was going to the playoffs every year, had a legitimate chance to win a Super Bowl every year, and he had one of the best statistical years of his career last year, and it was like, well, we didn't even make the playoffs. Yeah. And then now on <laughs> top of it, they're getting rid of, you know, my best friend. It's like, d- do I really want to be here? But he's also stuck because he signed that massive deal. Yeah. Okay, so they're, they're talking about him when he's not going to be able to play. Right here when he says it's going to happen one day, he says before quickly affirming it's not going to happen anytime soon, but it's going to be a, there's going to be a day where I have to be real with myself. But he talks about, too, towards the end of this, um, about playing people the, that didn't the old moniker. That, hey, yeah, I didn't yeah. get the credit I deserved because Aaron was so good that people said, well, he has Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Now they can't. Devontae, I think the last thing of the – one of his last quotes of the whole article says, like, they can't say that anymore. I don't think I knew anything about Devontae. D- did you? I was reading his quotes. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that's the way Devontae. Devontae's <laughs> awesome. I, yeah. I mean, that is, I didn't expect a lot. Yeah, I don't see eye to eye with the Raiders right now on how they're thinking about running their fucking offense. Okay, awesome. Head coach is the offense coordinator. Love that. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, <laughs> um, and by the way, I agree. If Devontae thinks it, I mean, Devontae has every right to think it. And then I also enjoyed him saying, like, yeah, you can just write down, fuck all the numbers. Didn't need Aaron Rodgers. So, I love that. Never, ever, fucking, ever say that again, I think, or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would like Devontae to do more interviews, I think, is what I learned. I would like him to talk all the time. If we get a microphone at his locker, I'd be appreciative because I didn't know anything about him. AJ, were you teammates with him? Oh, yeah. I was teammates with him uh, for a year and then was with him at the Derby. I didn't I didn't know all this strife was happening uh, with the Raiders just a couple of weeks ago when I was with him, yeah. I love that. Now people can't say that. That'll never be the narrative ever again. It proved that I am me. A quarterback doesn't make me. I make me. And I can do it consistently at this level. After being named all pro last year without Aaron Rodgers and with Carr as his quarterback, he 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 didn't throw Carr under the bus, obviously, because they know each other from college. Uh-huh. But he almost said, you seen what the fuck I was doing with last year. <laughs> yeah. I made all pro. Uh, no, he what almost said He said it. He, he said that Carr was nowhere near as good as this other guy over here. He basically said Carr was a piece of work, <laughs> a piece of shit that he was playing with last year. Oh, hey, this oh, piece of shit buddy. that I was playing God. with last oh, year. Did y'all roommate. see it? Y'all fired him halfway through the season. <laughs> <laughs> it's college roommate. It, it's, yeah. al- it's almost kind of like an MJ thing, too, where someone probably was just like, Devonta, you're so lucky to play with Aaron Rodgers. And yeah. they didn't mean to have it as like a shot, but Devonta's probably like, fuck, well, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers is so lucky to play with me. What, what about me? Well, I'm sure some, some reporters, I'm sure, have asked them questions over the years where they were just kind of, I'm sure it was their tone and how they talked to us. So, do you think you could do this without Aaron? Yeah. Like, oh, like, I'm sure there's multiple that stick in his mind where he's like, all right, man, like, no, now, no. Now, Devontae, you would have to admit, pretty easy to be open when yeah. you have a quarterback that can throw the ball into a dartboard. Yeah, that's exactly times. how it sounds, too. Yeah. Yep, they're exactly. That's, that, he's and had what that Devontae for years. Hears, yeah, what Devontae hears is, Devontae, uh, any fucking clown could do what you do uh, with Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And now he's airing it out. Now he's letting us know. You can never ever fucking say Bob Demofsky. Yeah, fucking Bob no, Demofsky. That wasn't a Bob. Was that a Bob invitation by you? I wasn't. I, was I don't think I've ever Bob. heard Bob talk. I was. That was just my standard <laughs> insider media reporter voice, just because that is what it sounds like. You know, how in the Peanuts, it's like wah 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 wah. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of players, whenever they hear media talk, they just automatically hear so. What are you um, yep. thinking about today? <laughs> I think that's just. So I apologize to all media people that are offended by that. But if you're offended by that. You probably think you sound like that. And maybe it's time to change. (laughs) Always a good time to change. Always a good time.